Um, finally, um, Mr Deputy Speaker, what is also missing from this, the Queen's speech was any action to address the cost of living crisis. According to the Food Foundation, one in seven adults now live in homes where people have skipped meals, eaten less or gone hungry. Energy bills are skyrocketing, rise in inflation is starting to bite. We've heard about the 15 Tory tax rises. And it is the government's responsibility to mitigate this suffering, whether it's in, through measures in the Queen's speech or through introducing an emergency budget, which is much needed. What we are seeing in operation now is an active choice by the Chancellor, by the Prime Minister, by the government to allow this pressure, this financial pressure on households to continue. A windfall tax on BP and Shell would hardly dent their enormous recent profits of £12 billion. But while my constituents remove items from their shopping baskets, spend their days on buses to keep warm, stress over bank balances in the red, the government has refused to act. Act. Even Tesco has come out in support of a windfall tax, and I think the boss of BP said that it wouldn't stop them from investing. Labour has been clear that the best solution to the cost of living crisis is a green one, yet this speech promised nothing to help insulate homes, which would lower bills and emissions, nor did it promise to rectify this government's nonsensical ban on new onshore wind. Um, to conclude, um, Mr Speaker, I look forward to debating some of these 38 bills in the Queen's speech. I think it's a massive missed opportunity. I hope that we see an emergency budget soon and that the government wakes up to the real crisis facing it. Marco Longhi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah.